Hey y'all, Dan from danwagner.co with a quick walkthrough on my tutorial about combining data from different worksheets when the columns are in different order on each sheet. And so today uh, we are going to be working with my favorite sales team of all, the cast of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So team one here is Mac and Dennis. They are selling dick towels. They've got an amount, the salesperson, and the date that the transaction took place. Sales team number two is made up of Charlie and Frank. Naturally, they're selling kitten mittens, and it looks like Frank is also selling the Patty shot pistol and the egg. Now, an interesting observation here, the columns are in different order, right? Because that's what we're solving right now but also this sheet has an extra field region that was not found on sales team one. So we need to be able to handle this situation as well, right? We want to know if the region data is available. We want to be sure that it gets added to our master combined data sheet. And so this solution will definitely handle that as well. Finally, sales team three is sweet D and Artemis. They're only selling one item, uh, Sweet D's Jokes on Me DVD. And you can see they've got the essentials like date, item, amount, salesperson, but they also have some additional interesting fields like quantity, right? So the count of the DVD, as well as a shipped or not shipped flag. And so our end product here is going to be one big block of data that is easy to create a pivot table on that combines all of these columns in the correct order and that makes doing this type of long-term like combined analysis really easy and really smooth again using the pivot table so what we're gonna do with VBA here is essentially break the process up into two steps the first step our phase one is to prepare a dictionary that contains all of the headers that we are going to need and that also gets the final destination combined data sheet ready to rock and ready to populate. Phase two is where we're going to take the data from each individual worksheet and populate it into our master combined data sheet. And before I forget, I'm going to make sure that I drop some breakpoints here so we can see the process go nice and slow inside the actual script running portion of our tutorial here. So let's, uh, let's quickly go through phase one. So the first thing that we're going to do is loop through each worksheet inside this workbook. We want to make sure we skip our destination worksheet, right? Because that's our master sheet. We don't want to be recursively adding data to that, that would be a big time bummer and would get out of control in a hurry. So once we are on an individual worksheet, we loop through all of the headers in that worksheet, right? So on sales team one, we're going to identify date as a column header, salesperson as a column header, item as a column header, and amount as a column header. And what we're going to do is add each of these to a dictionary where the key of the dictionary is the column header, so date, salesperson, item, and amount. And the item in the dictionary is the column number on our final master combined sheet. And so eventually we'll end up with a, a dictionary that has seven keys and seven items with each column header as a key and each column number as the, the associated item. And so once we have populated that dictionary, right, by looping through each column header on each sheet, we eventually are going to loop through this dictionary and populate the final header row on our output sheet. And so what I'm going to do here is drop another breakpoint in so you can see where we end up at the end of this population step and before we get into the guts of phase two, which is where we're writing each column of data 
to the appropriate final output column in our master combined data worksheet. So phase two works a lot like phase one did, except instead of collecting headers, we already know where each column of data needs to go, right? Because we have our dictionary and we have our output worksheet set up. So all we're going to do is loop through each column, look up the appropriate destination column from our final headers dictionary here by using the, the column header that we find on each sheet, and then pasting each column of data to the appropriate destination on the master output combined data worksheet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let this script rip. Now remember we have a breakpoint here at the beginning of phase two, and the last step in phase one is taking all of our headers that were identified on each sales worksheet and dropping them into place on the combined data output worksheet. So let's go ahead and hit play. Awesome. So we have a new worksheet here. It's just called sheet eight. It has all of the headers that we observed on all of the sales sheets themselves. Let's go ahead and triple check that though. So sales team one gives us date, salesperson, item, and amount. Date, salesperson, item, and amount. Looking good so far. Sales team two has all the same headers as sales team one, except one new field, region. So we would expect that to be the next column header, and indeed it is. And finally, sales team three has all the same column headers as sales team one, except it also has quantity and shipped, and we expect those to be the next two columns as well. Awesome. So we have our output worksheet, we have our headers in place, and most importantly, we have this dictionary that contains the column headers as keys and the final destination column numbers as values. So what we're going to do is loop through each worksheet, again, that is not our final destination worksheet, and identify the range of data for each column from each worksheet, and then paste it to the corresponding column inside our final output sheet. So let's, uh, let's see that in action here. OK, sweet. So the first thing we copied from sales team one was the dates. So you can see a couple happened on July 1st, a couple happened on July 2nd. It looks like that matches. The next thing we copy from sales team one is the salesperson. It goes Dennis Mack, Dennis Mack. Yep, that matches as well. We expect to get a uh, white dick towel and black dick towel in this order and amounts in this order as well. So I'm going to quickly click through these. Yep. White dick towel, black dick towel, white dick towel matches. Love it. And finally, we expect to get the amounts. About 50 bucks, about 30 bucks, 60 bucks, 30 bucks. Uh, yep, all lines up. So now we're going to move on to sales team two, which is where things get a little bit more interesting, right? So the first thing on sales team two is the salesperson field. So because we're trusting our dictionary to guide our eventual paste, we can be sure that Charlie and Frank are going to be pasted here into column B or column two as far as the dictionary is concerned. Sweet. So it goes Charlie, Frank, Charlie, Frank. That's what we would expect. The next item we're going to loop through is the, the actual sales item itself. So kitten mittens, egg, and patty shot pistol. Sweet. That gets dropped into the item column. Then we have region, right? So region is new, and that's going to get dropped into column E or number five. Sweet. And then we have amount. And so we expect that to get dropped into column D. Excellent, looking good. And finally, we have our date. And so that's going to go into column A. 
Sweet. So here we populated additional information from Sales Team 2, including a column that we didn't have before. And finally, I'm going to remove these breakpoints because we know how Sales Team 3 is going to work. And I will click play one last time. It's going to let us know because the very last line of the script is this message box to say data combined. I'll click OK. And awesome. We can see once again our dates got added. Sweet D and Artemis are moving the jokes on me DVD. We have the amount. And also, right, we know that there was no region on that tab, but we have quantity and shift, and those bits of information were transferred over as well. So in a situation where you're stuck with columns that are out of order, but you need to combine them for eventually, like maybe using in a pivot table or, or in an eventual CSV output for, for some reason, right, you can leverage this macro. It's super flexible and it's ready to combine data where your column headers are out of order, but you need one unified block of information. If this has been helpful, please don't uh, you know, hesitate to join my list where I send out tutorials like this every week. If you have questions or concerns, leave a comment or send me an email from the link in the tutorial uh, description below. Thanks so much and have a good one.